Amazon is now adding in more applications into the piracy blacklist, which means more and more of your applications are now appearing with the warning triangle. On my device, the second generation Fire Stick Max, I now have three applications with the triangle against them. Application B, application F and application C. This one, you can't see the triangle because I just reinstalled it. So I'm waiting for it to come back. But in this video today, let me show you how you can potentially fix these three applications and remove the triangle from them. The developer I've been working with, with the app cloner, has now released a brand new update for the 20th of December. This new update has lots of bug fixes, lots of features. He's now changed some of the menu items. So hopefully it'll give you a better, more reliable cloning experience. But I will just caveat that he did say that on Fire OS 6 devices, it is pretty unstable, shall we say. So in most cases, if you find that your cloning process keeps on crashes, nine times out of 10, it's going to be because you're running Fire OS 6. People running Fire OS 7, or in my case, I'm running Fire OS 8, it does seem to be more reliable with those versions. Now, if you already have this application on your device, it is recommended to uninstall the old version and get the latest version from our website, which I will show you in just a second. But for now, let's open up the application. So we have application B, application F, and application C. So now let's fix application B. So let's go over to that now. Let's press the select button here. And you can see now he's removed some of those extra options that we saw before. The I think the experimental options, the other option to intercept the package name, they've all now been merged into this overall clone option, which is really the main option you want to try. We also have this one here which is uh, for some of the more difficult applications. So let's go for the easy one. Let's click on that. Let's give that a second. And just while you're waiting, guys, if you are enjoying these kind of videos, if you're looking for more Fire Stick, Android TV, general cord cutting tips and tricks, then please double check and make sure you are subscribed because YouTube is telling me that more than 75% of you are watching my content, but you haven't actually subscribed particularly because things in this space are now going to move very, very quickly. So as soon as there is an update, if there's a new version of this application out, I will quickly go ahead and release a new video. So make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. Thank you. Let's give that a second. So you can see it does take a little bit longer than the previous version because it is doing more things under the hood to ensure maximum compatibility with the clone. And we now get the installation prompt, which is just behind my head. So let's click on install application not installed. So this shows that this particular application will not work with that option. So you can see guys, I'm trying to show you exactly what you will experience. There's no fake news or sugar coating. Let's get back out of this. Let's now try the other option. So again, with the B application, let's go there. Let's now select the top option. Let's click on that. Click on proceed. Let's see if this option works instead. So this is what you'll have to basically do that depending on your application, depending on what you see, try the main option first. If that doesn't work, do the second option. But it is recommended to try the main option first as that should work generally for most applications. So let's click on uninstall, click on OK. That's now uninstalled. It's now trying to install the new version. Let's just double check that again. Yep, click on install. It says app installed. I can now open that up. And this is really the key test because in some scenarios you may get the application is cloned OK, but when you try to view it, is where you don't actually see any content or maybe it doesn't load the thumbnails or it just doesn't work properly. But we can see in this example, I even get a prompt to update it. Let's cancel the update for now. Let's see, can I actually play something? So three, two, one, quick test. And within five, four, three, two, one, we can see that actually starts playing absolutely fine. So one out of one, the application has now been cloned properly and I can go ahead and use that on my device. Let's back out of that. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Let's now try the F1. Here we go. Let's go for the standard option. Let's give that a second. I know for lots of you, this whole process is going to be too much. You're fed up of Amazon enforcing these changes, trying to block which applications you can use on your device. I know lots of you have jumped shipped over to Android TV, and I do actually have some new devices coming in, some official devices, some uh, generic devices. 
which I will be reviewing on my channel. So for people looking for options or alternatives, again, make sure you are subscribed so you know exactly when those review videos drop. That's now finished. Let's try to install that. That says app installed. Let's click on open. Let's see if something actually plays okay. So click on a random thing. And again, within five, four, three, two, one, we are now accessing this application, which was previously blocked for us. Let's back out of that. Now we can see the extra applications there. We can still see that the C app has the warning. Let's go back in. Now for the C application, I can tell you that the standard option just doesn't work. So I'm going to go straight for the, the top option. Let's click on that, which will uninstall the old version first before it reinstalls it. That's now installed OK. In fact, I'm not going to open it. I'm going to go home. Let's see if that triangle has now been removed. And we can see that triangle is now no longer there, guys. So I think it's very impressive the work the developer has done on this application. It is going to be a cat and mouse game, but he's very um, agile. He's very responsive. He is taking feedback. He's seeing um, the comments on these videos. Hopefully with that feedback, he can keep tweaking the application and make it even better. Now to get the latest version of the app clone on all of your devices, just head over to Downloader and we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 53402. Type that in and click on go and this will take you directly to my website. Click on tutorials and we see the latest tutorial in the list is App Cloner. Let's click on that. And when you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the latest version of this application. Now it is advisable that you get this application from my website because this is always linked to the latest version directly from the developer. So just to ensure that you have the latest version, this is the best place to get this on all of your streaming devices. And lastly, guys, I think it's pretty fair or pretty standard now that if you are going to be accessing all of this kind of content with these applications, it is, I would say, essential now to use a VPN just to ensure that you've got that privacy protection. You can't be throttled. Your ISP can't monitor you. And it really is just the best way to stay safe online. IP Vanish now support RAM only servers, which basically means that these servers that you connect through do not have any kind of storage. So no disks, no hard drives, no SSDs. Everything is held in memory, in RAM. And the minute they turn off, everything is just instantly wiped. So it really is maximum security, maximum privacy and blazing fast speeds. And right now they've got super special offer for the month of December. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel. So many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.